Hi everyone. Tomorrow on Thursday marks the final of three conjunctions between Jupiter and Pluto. So this is the completion of this whole back and forth cycle that's been happening pretty much since January of 2020. And after Jupiter and Pluto make this final meeting, they'll be in a new phase, a new cycle, a whole new phase of development. So let's tune into what this is all about, what it really speaks to. Any cycle with Pluto at the core speaks to evolution where we're moving through different phases of human experience, where we're going to learn, we're going to grow, we're going to have experience that will really reveal ultimately to us latent power, potential that is within each one of us. And with all cycles with Pluto, there's a need to come into experience, live it fully, and also move on, let it go completely. So we're coming into a phase where there's a lot of integration and thus empowerment and clarity with our Jupiter function, this evolutionary cycle, basically of being able to realize and, and claim and come to an understanding of latent power. And when we're dealing with Jupiter, it's about our own path in life. Jupiter is our intuition. It's that sense that there is something more. We have to have an optimistic attitude, a perspective that allows for our vision, our sense of life to, to feel expansive, to feel like there's potential, there's something more to learn, there's more growth to happen. And the truth is our own journey of discovery and expansion, whether it's business, relationship, your work, whether it's about spiritual awakening, the Jupiter function says there's always more. There's a journey in front of you and that your life is designed, all the players, all the pieces in your life are a part of this journey. And all we really need to do ever with Jupiter is just be very authentic, very honest, very sincere with ourselves and what we're sensing, what we're experiencing, not trying to make ourselves something that we're not. But the path of growth and expansion really comes from this place of being true to ourselves. So Jupiter says your truth, your path is very much linked to your own nature not trying to walk a path that someone else walked, not trying to be something to become successful the way another person experienced success, not trying to wake up the way another person woke up. In the end, the Jupiter function says we're all a pilgrim here and we all got to really look inside and follow our inner guidance, our intuition to navigate one step after another. So this evolutionary cycle with Jupiter and Pluto now coming into this new phase says it is time to trust ourselves. It is time to honor and claim our deep intuition and to set upon a path that promises greater growth. The issue with Jupiter, what's really kind of purging throughout this cycle are any beliefs and ideas when we go on the journey, if we carry with ourselves too many concepts, too many convictions about how it's supposed to go, what it's supposed to look like, what the right way is, then we really block ourselves from experience. And we do that thing where we just play over our existing, our existent, our decided belief systems. Mm -hmm. And then we will try to convince other people, we'll have convinced ourselves already. And we don't learn. And when things are changing, when we're in a Pluto journey, evolution, we have to be empty. We have to be willing to let go so that we can tune into when all the concepts, Jupiter, all the beliefs, Jupiter, all the self-convincing Jupiter, all the efforts to become something that we're not, especially in Capricorn, it's, you know, how does, how do all the people get successful? How do you make an eight figure, you know, amount of money in the next six months doing these practices, buying this course and doing this and that? There are all these things that promise expansion. You know, Capricorn will make it look very promising, very stable, very grounded, very credentialed. Um, but Jupiter wants authenticity. And it says, all of that maybe was really good for someone else. But we want to strip away everything 
Pluto. Just let it all fall away. Let everything you believed, everything you thought, everything you've told yourself is true that isn't coming from within. Mm -hmm. And then what it says is the path of success, it's real, it's authentic, it's sincere, it's a part of your journey. And you have to walk it. And you have to figure it out for yourself. You have to really take it upon yourself to really say, okay, to be successful, to really walk this path, I have to commit myself to the work of knowing myself, studying the path, and we can find other people, teachers, practices, wisdom that really speaks to us because it speaks to us. That's It's pointing to what's inside. So I'll just end this moment, this part with this Jupiter-Pluto cycle is really bringing us into this new phase of knowing ourselves, finding out how our path of success is one with our being authentic. We don't have to try to make ourselves what we're not. But it requires discipline. It requires work to practice living within time and space in a way that actually nurtures our own growth and maturity in our own way. You know, if you're having so many people do so many things for so many years and we all discipline ourselves and do the same things over and over and over and over again. And this Jupiter function really wants us to ask, where am I going? Right? Am I expanding? Am I having a deeper experience of the truth? Am I landing into a deeper sense of freedom and authenticity in my own life? And the Pluto piece says, be willing to be really honest with yourself. Be willing to look at what's working, what's not working. Do you care more about certainty? Or do you care more about really growing? So, yeah, do you want to share anything to this? Yeah. I, I, what you were talking about just now in terms of discipline was reminding me that like there is a very big distinction between discipline that's cultivated from choice and freedom and discipline that comes from habit, you know? Mm -hmm. And these particular transits, this triple conjunction that's happening, it's Jupiter and Pluto, but also with Pallas Athene, the goddess of wisdom, discernment, and she she represents like that, you know, fierce feminine inner knowing mm -hmm. and um, command and choice. And then it's also happening at the same time as Mars is stationing direct. So Mars is going to be at the same degree of Aries for pretty much the entire week and then stationing direct. And the intensity of energy sort of pushing us forward into a new thought, a new a new chapter, a new way in which we are holding our own self-confidence and the kind of confidence and optimism that doesn't come from um, an overinflated ego or from um, sort of a mania, but that comes from a grounded truth that has come from resiliency. If anyone who has survived a Pluto transit knows that there is a sort of emotional resiliency that is developed over having parts of ourselves stripped away again and again and again. And what that leaves, whether that happens through external circumstances or just through an internal process, the whittling away leaves an inner truth, an inner knowing of oneself. And from that place, faith, confidence, optimism can can begin to shine through. Even in some of the darkest moments, it's that's where I find this, this energy of resiliency has built and is now a foundation upon which life, life can change from that place. Mm, beautiful. Being that this is a new phase, it's a new relationship, it's very subjective, it's just starting. And so the Jupiter temptations, very, very often one wherein we'll come across a good idea. Uh, we'll read the book or we'll hear about something and we're wanting to adopt to it really, really quickly. And there can be an opportunism, a psychology of opportunism within Jupiter. And so one thing that this really invites for us is to especially in lieu of the fact that Mars is actually right now still not moving. 
and it's going to build momentum. So you really want to acknowledge that for the next couple of weeks, it's actually about beginning to consolidate some clarity, some clear directive. And I feel the way to nurture that clarity is that discipline, is that inner orientation to really get to know oneself. When we rush to be on top of the mountain already, because really the Capricorn fear in this case, Jupiter and Capricorn is, I don't want to walk the journey. I want to have already completed it. I want to be there already. There can be this internal shame or judge that we're healing in realizing, ooh, I got to go slower than I thought. This is about getting to know myself, getting to really understand my own way, my own path in life. And there's a principle of faith in that. It says that I trust life resonates with who I am, that I am one with the path that I am walking. And all that I am to realize is one with my own self-realization. So just offering this prayer and this inspiration for us to feel solid and stable and trusting and optimistic, joyful, curious, engaged right now. This is by no means about not moving, not growing. In fact, this is just the beginning of growth and to really let self-knowledge and discovery. So the opposite of opportunism, the opposite of seeking like, oh, let me do this. This will work for me or this will make me seen or this will make me successful or this will wake me up. And the opposite of opportunism is deep honesty. Being really honest with yourself. And that being honest with yourself isn't a matter of you know, any kind of defeatist psychology because honesty need not result in some sort of pessimistic attitude. Real honesty actually is optimistic, and I'll share why. Real honesty brings us to the moment. Real honesty brings us back to where we actually are, and where we actually are is where the path actually is, and where the path is is where all the gifts are, where all of our potential and everything that's meant for us arises. So being honest, it, you might have to work through disappointment and letting go of these self-convictions, but we actually keep on arriving more deeply into a place where like, oh, ah, that's kind of refreshing. For all this time during this Pluto cycle, I was holding on to a lot that is not me. I see that that's not necessary and that I'm actually really, if we're letting go of things that we thought we were, there might be a disappointment or I'm not you know, as good at this thing that I told myself, but actually we realize it's never been about that. Right? It's been about the goodness of what you are. And to get to know that, that's the gift of this time. There's a friend who's visiting us right now, and she's going to embark on a three-day rite of passage in nature. And I feel like that, that mm -hmm. um, image of going out into the wilderness alone with just the bare essentials, sleeping in contact with the earth, um, exposed to the elements, but having to be with oneself to mark uh, this time, this ending, this integration, this movement into a new beginning is a perfect example of this conjunction in form in, in the way that we're like left with ourself. There, there is only, you know, what happens in the mind and what happened and, and also this period of like internal reflection and integration that's both marking a beginning and an ending simultaneously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's going to be a fun and exciting and expansive journey for real. Um, we're just beginning this really interesting new time. Thanks for joining us today.